worse before the game, you know. Seeing them and then, you know, Boswell had his little thing going on. So seeing them before the game, it was personal. So now it's just a, a hatred culture toward Arkansas. So going into the game at halftime, like, we look at each other like, really? Is this how we gonna go out? We had to understand it, like, it's time to turn it on. And we went out there and competed and we came back. And that was just, that was the way that we had to finish that season. We could not go out like how we went in at halftime of that game. That could, that was an option, so we needed that. Describe the Tennessee game last year, all the yards moving up and down the field, and what was, what do you what do you think about how you describe that? It's kind of like, it's kind of like when you have a good Sunday dinner fixed up and you're just missing something. You might be missing your favorite drink or your favorite side or something. It's just that we did all that on the field. We did had all those yards and we didn't score points. We did not score the amount of points we should have scored. And that hurts because you do all the work to get to the end zone. You do all that work to get those yards and then you don't score, you don't capitalize. It's just the worst feeling. So you guys on offense look back more on yourselves as opposed to the defense. Yeah, we look at ourselves definitely. Uh, we can't we can't control what happens on the defensive side. All we can control is what happens on our side. And we know that it makes it easier if we're scoring points and we're allowing the defense to, I guess, you know, have some type of confidence going back out there knowing that it's not all on your back, that we're going to do our job and all they have to do is do theirs and work together so we can be plus one. When Greg Brown was coaching the secondary, what was it like going up against that unit in practice? Coach, Coach Brown was a great guy. He he knows what he's talking about. So going against the things that he was teaching the DBs, he just helped me as a receiver, you know, face some different type of techniques and how to get off certain things. Hey, what do you think is the uh, potential for the receiving core this year and with Drew at the helm, what do you think you guys can achieve? The receiving core is going to definitely do some big things. We've been working hard every day and Coach Hill's been – pushing us to be great and be great in everything that we do. So I see that receiving court doing some big things, seriously. Are, are defensive backs, not your team, but the other guy, are they just irritating people talking all the time from the time game starts? Uh, a lot of defensive backs don't, they don't do too much trash talking to me because, I mean, I make you eat your words. So, I mean, we have we got a couple of, you know, little small things back and forth, but they don't really do too much. Crazy talking to me. We'll go ahead and finish up. Um, I, I've heard a lot of analysts have talked about Drew Locke as having maybe the best arm talent in the country, elite arm talent. Just describe that part of his game. Drew's got a beautiful arm. He's got touch. He can throw at the distance. He's listening to a Coach Hyper. He's taking coaching. He's bought into everything that this program brings. He's just a guy that wants to be successful. So. He's got a lot of talents and he's got a, a lot of ups and he's working on his downfalls and he wants to be great. So, Do you see a little bit less gunslinger now, like not trying to force the ball because yeah. of his arm? Yeah, yeah he's, uh, he, he, he knows his, his arm. He knows his arm. He's been working on his technique. He's been working on things that Coach Hyper has been, you know, bringing to his attention. And he's going to be good. I know, definitely feel like he trusts his arm a little bit more than he did before. Jermon, you guys don't see Auburn much. Um, what do you know about that team and that matchup you have with them this year? Uh, I know they got a lot of playmakers. They got some good players on that team. I know that once we face them, everybody needs to do their 111. We need to compete every play, every quarter, every down, and we're going to be in good shape. All right, we got to get moving. Thanks. Appreciate you.